this is not Cornwall. In today's video, we are visiting the gorgeous Welsh coastline around Llangranagh Beach and taking a hike along the coastal path. Join us as we explore the beach and show you the sights from our beautiful hike and elsewhere around Llangranagh. We are in Llangranagh, going to the beach and we stopped to sit on the bench for a moment and we're looking at the pretty flowers in this little park sitting area with a beautiful view. Please be sure to subscribe so you can join us for upcoming travel vlogs in Wales as well as other British fun. There are a lot of people at the beach, but to me it is too cold to be getting in that water and very windy. We came here on this visit with Ian's cousin Claire and her son Joe. Everyone else wanted to explore this cool looking cave at the edge of the beach, except for me, but I reluctantly tagged along. Ian's making me come into this scary cave with him. Look how far back. Oh my, yeah, I don't like going far back in. Yeah, what happens, what happens in the high, when the tide comes in, Ian, we all get trapped in here and drown. <laughs> Yeah, this goes way up there in like this crevice, yeah. but it's totally creeping me out, so I'm turning around. I'm feeling claustrophobic in here, so I'm leaving. That was a cool cave, but I didn't like being too far in. Just kept thinking about the water coming in and drowning. I think this is a jellyfish, or at least part of one. Okay, so Claire's explaining to me what this is. This is fool's gold here, which is shining and glittering. And here is iron. And you always find iron with fool's gold. It doesn't look gold, so why is it fool's gold? Just because it's shiny. Shiny. Ah, glittering. I wouldn't have been fooled. I'm no fool. I was very disappointed there were no donkeys on this beach. I've never seen donkeys at a beach, but I know it's a very British thing. So, Britons, where can I see donkeys on a beach? Please tell me in the comments. After some exploring, it was time for lunch at a seaside cafe. Ian ordered a Tuscan fish stew with tomatoes and olives and cod in it, and some lovely bread with butter on the side. It should not shock you that I was in the mood for melted cheese. So I got this house slaw with the so-called dirty cheesy bacon fries. I was a wee bit disappointed by the lack of cheesiness, and I do prefer chunky chips to skinny fries. But actually, the house slaw was pretty good. We headed out on our hike along the Dylan Thomas Trail. Mr. Thomas, of course, is a very famous Welsh poet who lived from 1914 to 1953. The trail was opened by his daughter in 2003, and one stretch of this path includes the coastal path between Newquay and Llangranog and on to St. Dogmells. At the start of our walk, we visited the statue of St. Caranog. He is the 6th century Welsh saint who founded this village of Llangranog. There are many stories about his life, including one tale in which he fought King Arthur at Dunster in Somerset and was obliged to defeat a terrifying dragon before he was given land to start a monastery. It's a good time of year to publish this video as St. Caranog's Feast day is the 16th of May. This is a slow bush here on the top of the cliff. Like these berries are used to make slow gin. In my experience, the British coastline is frequently windy. So I've learned it's best to stick to voiceover rather than trying to discuss the beautiful scenery in situ. This is me trying to take a selfie, but my hair is blowing all over the place. Only magenta flower for today on this hike. 
The first time I met really spoilt cows grazing in a pasture overlooking stunning British coastline was in Atlantic Bay, Cornwall. If you love gorgeous coastline and remote beaches, I recommend you check out that video as well. I'll link it in the description. Please be sure to click that like button because it really does make a difference in YouTube sharing this video with others. Take a peek at the lovely location these lucky cows get to enjoy whilst they are munching away at their lunch. Here is a rare shot of our very own Ian Sandland launching his drone so that he can get some aerial footage of this beautiful spot on planet Earth. I love hikes like this where along the whole path there are just stunning views everywhere you look. I will now confess to the second time during this day that I was a total wimp. Once we hiked to the top of the ridge, there was this steep little path leading down to a secret beach. I was not up for the steep scramble, nor was Claire, so we found a spot to perch and chat. And then Ian and Joe hiked down to the secret beach to get some amazing drone photography. This is the perfect opportunity to show you how deceptively tricky the Welsh language can be for English speakers. The name of the beach is Trath Bach. It means small beach. As an English speaker, you might think the second word means beach because it looks kind of similar, but no, it's the first one. And the second word means small. I'm so glad that my adventurous and talented hubby captured this footage so that we could see these amazing views that we would have not seen otherwise. And now I'd like to show you a couple other fun things we saw after our hike was over, like this post box from the reign of King George V, and this charming holiday cottage, and this Welsh sign, which I thought was just meh, and this lovely little church which I had to stop and explore. And here is St. Well, Granag's church. I love that it has the bells on the top. Let's go check it out. A particularly special part of wandering around this church was seeing these grave markers. Since Ian is over half Welsh, according to his DNA, and he definitely has Jenkins in his family tree. It was neat to see so many people here with the Jenkins surname and pretend we had a familial connection. Although if you've ever done any family history research in Wales, you'll know that there are a handful of surnames shared by lots and lots of people. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us for this day in Wales. In the description, I'll drop links to the crazy video of Joe attempting to teach me how to pronounce Welsh words in 10 minutes, as well as a video of a visit to Claire's farm and their adorable pet sheep. Coming soon are videos of me trying classic Welsh foods and our visits to the gorgeous Pembrokeshire coast, the capital city of Cardiff, and the beautiful seaside town of Tanby. We sure hope you join us. Thanks so much for watching this video and do something good in the world today.